the laser cutter can make printing matrices of many kinds, including stencils, relief and intaglio. Additionally, the precision of this technology means that creating layered prints with multiple or duplicate plates is easy. This video is going to show you the basic principles of creating a relief and intaglio printing plate with a laser cutter. With a black and white image, you can create a relief plate. The laser cutter can etch many traditional matrices materials like wood and rubber, including lino. To make a wood or lino block out of this black and white image, I bring my prepared image file into Illustrator. I invert the image using edit, edit colors, invert colors, so that the black areas will be etched away from the plate. I flip it using object, transform, reflect, vertical, so it will be printed the right way around. Finally, I make it to the size I want my print. Then I send it to job control using the lino settings. When I'm making a relief block, I also like to change the ordered dithering preset to black and white so that I end up with a printing block with uncarved areas that will take ink smoothly and lowered areas which will not take any ink. If you forget to flip or invert your image before this stage, you can do this by clicking these boxes on the job control menu. Lino is only approved for etching and not cutting on the laser cutter due to the glue on its back but you can use a vector etch to create a line you can cut out later. If you're using laser ply, cardboard, acrylic, or another material approved for cutting, you can experiment with irregular plate shapes as well. As well as being able to work with lino, wood and acrylic, the Trotec Speedy 360 is also capable of etching metal because of an additional fibre laser source. This means you can create an intaglio plate without an etching bath. However, we've found that using acrylic plastic is an effective alternative that is much quicker to etch, can be made into irregular shapes and is easy to ink up. Here's how to make an intaglio plate. To make either a zinc or an acrylic plate, create an image file to suit the size of your plate. This file can include a combination of any imagery, including scanned drawings, text and photographs. Unfortunately, we cannot cut through metal plates, so if you would like to leave blank areas of your plate, you may wish to create a cyan positioning line, the size of your plate and organise your imagery within that. Always remember to flip your images. Once you've created your imagery, lower the opacity of the whole image to 80% and save it. Lowering the opacity means the laser cutter will etch an area of stippled marks, like an aquatint, instead of fully removing the area of the plate, like an open bite. This means that the inked plate will reproduce the dark tones of your image, as well as any halftone areas. When your file is ready, bring your image and your filed plate to the laser cutter. If you're making an acrylic plate, make sure to file your edges after you've laser cut. If you're working with a metal plate, make sure to give it a good polish beforehand. When you're transporting any plate to the makerspace, make sure you try your hardest to keep your plate flat. The fibre laser source we use on metal has a much narrower focal range than the CO2 laser source, so there is a risk of some of your image being out of focus. If your image is out of focus, the etch won't be sufficiently deep or may just leave no mark at all. Small plates are more likely to stay flat, but larger plates can be etched well if you are careful with them. Print the file, selecting the corresponding material from the menu. For metal plates, use the metal zinc plate engrave setting. Set the resolution of your print. We recommend setting the resolution to 500 dpi. However, you can change this to your preference. Keep in mind that the higher the resolution is, the longer the etch will take. Double check that ordered dithering is selected to create a halftone effect. Hit send to the printer. For both intaglio and relief, make sure to check the time your job is likely to take in the bottom corner of job control. 
Etching into metal takes much longer than any other material, so make sure to check the time it will take before you get started. Keep this in mind as you plan your project and chat to the staff if your project will take over an hour on the laser cutter. Once the supervisor has signed you on, you can use the crosshairs to line up your plate with your design. Focus the laser and begin your etch. Make sure to keep a close eye on the laser cutter while it's on. When your job is finished, you can take your plate back to the studio and print the results. Well, these are some examples of translating traditional techniques with digital fabrication technology, this is not the only way to use these tools. Think about how you can experiment and always keep notes of which settings you use and what you change between experiments.